All right, this week's word is productive. Let's all say it together. Uh, so night before last, well, let's start with the night before that. So two nights, three nights ago. Not last night, not the night before, the next night. The nitrite test was doing the exact same. You know, it would go in, immediately change uh, to the darkest purple that you could possibly get. <laughs> and it's been that way for like two weeks, three, three weeks. It's been that way since this date. Well, uh, night before last, I noticed when I put the drops in, I actually had to do the five minute wait that you're supposed to do for nitrite to let the color uh, develop. Then I did it last night. And yes, this is, let's see, uh, this is the test from last night. I just, I left it in the test tube to see if it would develop and it hasn't. So we are zero nitrite, which is great. The bad news is my nitrate test is, it's a bad test. Uh, it doesn't develop. So I know that we're probably over a hundred on nitrates. Uh, this tank is ready for, you know, ready for a big water change. I can make a little over 40 gallons at a time of salt water. I'm gonna go ahead and do a 40 gallon water change and then I'll probably do it again next week. Uh, same large 40 gallon water change. The nit uh, nitrogen cycle is, oh, uh, <laughs> before we get into that, uh, I know, you know, it's been mentioned that if we use microbacter clean it will slow the uh the cycle and that's why i have not used it but we will start using the uh, microbacter clean starting probably today uh, i have not put any in it yet but yeah we'll uh we'll probably start it today and what that's going to do is as i ramp up the lights that's going to help keep the algae down in theory i'm this stuff's been around a long time, so I don't have any reason to uh, to not think it will. So, will it help 100%? I highly doubt it. So, what I think I'm going to do is turn the lights up 5% per week. Uh, we are getting ready to set up the quarantine tank. We should have already had fish, but I didn't want to rush any of this. I didn't know how long this cycle was going to take. Um, we should have got fish today, or I'm sorry, not today, yesterday. Uh, we should have got fish yesterday we didn't it is what it is so get to look at a stark white tank for a while uh, we'll get some fish thrown in there to get some biological stuff happening and uh, just get the tank that much closer to stocking with some of the fish that i've wanted for a long time all right things have changed down here i told you i told you i had doors i i promised you i had doors and I do, they're on. Now I've got a cat in the way of my epic reveal. <laughs> Playing with her chicken. This is what she does. Uh huh. Now I throw her chicken, she goes away. Okay. <laughs> All right. You ready for this? You ready for this? I'm so proud of it. This is my favorite feature on my 90. <laughs> we have lights and all it is is just a simple light strip if I go up on this side let me see it runs all the way down right now it is not secured uh, it, I mean it's secured but it's not secured you know what I mean so but yeah now I don't have to use that stupid shop light <laughs> you may notice this guy uh, this is, I think I mentioned it last video, maybe the video before on the 150. Um, it's just a, uh, yeah, it's just a light, <laughs> a red light. It's got red, orange, white, and blue LEDs in it. Um, wow, I've never seen, see how that phone looks stalled? <laughs> I've never seen one stall out like that. That looks so weird. Uh, so the filter, the filter roller is doing great. Uh, the water, if you can get past the dirty glass and whatnot, the water looks great. Uh, there is a film on top of the water. 
not 100% sure how I'm going to tackle that. I'm probably just going to just take it off the top. Uh, new ATO res. So that holds five gallons. Little, actually, it holds about four and a half gallons. I can fill it up to about that line right there. Uh, because there is, let me turn my screen back on so I can see what I'm pointing at. Right back there, there is a siphon break uh, that is required because that water line is so low compared to this. If that doesn't have a siphon break there, it will siphon the water. Uh, anything below where that black tube is right there. So, yeah. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Now, there will be another video after this that's going to talk specifically about the DC-24 ports on the two EV-832s and it's also on the uh, FMM module is the DC-24 port uh, which is what runs that little orange pump right there so yeah things are happening um, I'm still trying to finalize plans on what I'm going to do with all of this wiring I have an idea uh, it's going to require that I get some really nice oak uh, plywood and hopefully try to match this stain so another thing I did you may have seen it done in there we do have a little piece of chato I put it in there just to see if it would melt uh, since I put the light in there and by the way the light yeah it's just hung by that little hook Hopefully it doesn't fall in the tank. If it does, it should trip a breaker and yada yada yada. Uh, but yeah. It's been in there. Oh. And that's all that runs. <laughs> uh, it's been in there. Two, last night was the second full night. So I didn't put it in there last night. I put it in the night before. Uh, and so far, I mean, it hasn't melted. It hasn't disintegrated. So it's not completely mad. Uh, I did make sure there was no bristle worms in it. That's why the piece is so small. I just, I didn't want to put bristle worms in just yet. Uh, of course, they don't really have anything to eat. They would die anyway. Which actually might be a good thing. Hmm. And it'd be very hard for them to, one, get past... Uh, the micro bubble trap and then get past the impeller and up into the tank. It'd be really hard for them to survive all that. So, if there is some really small ones in there that I didn't see, so be it. There was some little uh, shrimp and whatnot, uh, little pods, and I may throw some, throw some food in there, kind of give them something to eat on. In fact, I'll probably do that after I shoot this video. So, yeah. Um, Cycle's done. Time for fish. Oh, and they finally got my uh, my valve in stock. So that will be another little project I will be putting uh, a gate valve on one of the drains. I'm thinking about doing it on the top one now, since I have the light uh, light cables here and I have a skimmer there. I'm thinking about doing it on the very top one. Um, probably about. Yeah, probably right in the center of it. That way it doesn't impede you with the lights. Or with the light. And yeah. So really that's, that's all I got on the uh, 150. It's been... Um, it's been a productive week. Uh, got the refugium light put in. Um, made up some cables uh, that... What do I have? Oh, the skimmers running off the uh, DC-24 uh, port on the EVA-32. Again, more on that in another video. Uh, I've got my little button box and... Oh, I've uh, got my breakout box. Yeah. So, that is a 3D printed breakout box. Uh, I will put the link to Thingiverse down in the uh, description. And if you guys want to go over there, grab the file and... Uh, Excuse me. Uh, if you guys want to go over there and grab the file and uh, print it for yourself, go for it. Uh, it should be with the one with the uh, little pins, uh, the speaker connectors is what I call it. With that one, it should be sized correctly. 
It was actually initially designed by uh, Greybeard. I can't remember the numbers after the name. This one. Uh, it was initially designed by him. It wouldn't quite work, and I had to make some modifications, uh, made a few upgrades, and now it does work. So, yeah, if you want to print it, go ahead and print it. Greybeard gets all of the credit for that. I get no credit whatsoever. Uh, I do have another design that I did, uh, the box and the little socket, and we will showcase that when we talk about the DC-24 ports. So, yeah, refugium light, under tank uh, stand lighting. Uh, you can kind of see the little, little window jam, door jam switch right there, real reed switch. Uh, that's controlling the lights under here. In fact, I'll just go ahead and shut that door. And there we go. And I do have a one second delay because the reed switch was, uh, I had it to where it was kind of underneath. It wasn't exactly where it was supposed to be and it was causing it to kick on, kick on and right back off in like a half a second. Uh, highly annoying getting there uh we're ready for fish i we're not ready for coral because we can't get the lights up high enough but we are ready for fish and we will have fish in the house hopefully by next weekend um probably next friday if they have them in stock things are happening guys new lights uh new ato reservoir that was on sale uh i've got my gate valve coming and I'm excited I'm excited we don't have to sit here and look at this well we still do but we can now start changing and yeah guys I can't thank you guys enough for sticking around watching I don't know how long we've been recording here and 13 minutes that's about par for the course so if you guys uh, have any uh, questions or suggestions you know where to put them uh, and questions and suggestions I just woke up not too long ago. Uh, I wanted to get this out to you guys. But anyway, questions and or suggestions are definitely welcome. And uh, yeah, it helps kind of feed my my passion into this uh, when I can either help others or just have a conversation about stuff. So you guys are great. I appreciate everybody, everyone watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.